Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola, singing he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Allowed 10 hits in his last start, and I know they're concerned about his mechanics. Maybe he's giving something away to the other side. Made some adjustments in between starts. Look for him to have a good one today. Okay, all set to go. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. The pitch. That one missed. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. Noel is a guy who registers a lot of strikeouts. In fact, he's had 220 or more strikeouts in three oh. different seasons. Next offering misses, three and one. And one thing about Nola Boog, just outstanding command, really sets up that breaking ball to expand the zone to get hitters for that swing and miss. You think about it, in 2022, he walked 29 guys in 205 innings. That's pretty incredible. Right. Luis Arise stands in. There's a strike. De La Cruz gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. The 0-2. Ball Next one ball. there. One ball, two strikes. And a ball in two strikes. Ground ball left side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Really protecting with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. Jesus Sanchez in the box now. Take strike one. No outs, runners at first and second. That one finds a corner. And that's strike two. And a pitch. That's a ball. Ground ball could be two. Fired to second. On to first, double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Lori 
Logano comes up to hit. Close one, doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. When Nola was in college at LSU, he got a chance to play with his brother, Austin, who was the team's shortstop, and as well, his roommate was Alex Bregman. And the 1-0. Foul ball there. Righty delivers. So now one and two. One ball, two and a ball <laughs> evens the count. Runner at third, two away. Got him. And that'll do it. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in Philadelphia, today's starting pitcher, Yuri Perez. Last time out, wasn't able to get out of the second inning, really put a lot of pressure on the bullpen, but the offense picked him up. I'm looking for him to hit the reset button and get after it in this one. Bottom of the first, at the play. Trey Turner. Chris, Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. Strike one. Yeah, he's a, kind of a thin, wiry guy, but packs some punch with the bat. But I got to say, the speed does jump out, and it's on both sides of the ball where he can change the game. The pitch. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Has to barehand it, and that's a great play for the out. Batting second. And time now for the Phillies lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, base is empty. Ball inside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That one missed, now three and oh. There's a strike. And now a full count. Count is three and two. Up the middle, that's a base hit. That is good. The right and hit. now here is Harper. Homered last night, Harper. added another hit as well. Go on one. Just oh, off the inside back. edge. Next pitch has popped up. Arise. Makes the grab. Two down. Batting four. The left fielder. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. And 
that's in there for strike one. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. On the ground to first, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Philly strand one, scoreless after one. New inning getting started. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Jorge Soler. And the right hater back to work. Flips the corner. That's strike one. And that skips in the dirt. Here's a 1 1. Ball two. And a foul ball. The pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Here's a 2 2. Stays alive. The 2 2. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Here's Christian Arroyo. Ball one, no strikes. Here comes a pinch. That one's in there, and it's a ball and a strike. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. The pitch. In the air, right side of the infield. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Now, number 73. And the pitch. Hey. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. And a count two one and two. To third. Boom. The throw to first, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Marlins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Yeah. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special, I'm an essence, I'm a boo. I'm less Back at Citizens Bank Park, here's what Nicholas Castellanos. The designated hitter. Nick. Nick. 
Perez back to work. Ripped into right field, base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. This is Bryson Stott. Three for eight in the series coming in. There's a strike. Kicks and fires. No, that's low. Pitch misses. Two, Two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses oh, there. Now three and one. Popped up. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Derek Hall getting ready to hit. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. And that one is inside. Right-hander kicks, deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Let's go, Phillies! The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for the game job as he fouls that fastball back. Swings for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And now it's Alec Bohm. Ball one, no strike. Righty to the plate. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. We'll move to the third with no score. here in Philadelphia we well here we go moment. top of the third the scoreless game yeah. and now the catcher comes Four up to him Nick Fortes Let's go, Nola back to work to the left side but it is well foul the pitch and there's a ball Yeah, that's outside. Oh, 
Pitch misses inside. Three and one now. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that ball. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. There's a strike. And that one fouled off. Two strikes may see some movement over there first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now that Brian De La Cruz Brian. digs in now. De La Cruz. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning double play not even close there no 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 De La Cruz 26 years old usually in left but today he's starting in right field and it's even up well, the big play in my opinion from right field is that throw from right field to third base longest one in the game and you gotta have a pretty strong arm hopefully he can play that one hop nicely if he has an opportunity to throw out a runner. And a one-two. And the one-two misses to even the count. Next pitch misses outside. And the count's full. On the ground to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. First, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. One down. And up next for Miami, Luis Arias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty deals in first strike, but the count even one. I check fastballs in. That's one called the strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Left hit hitter waits. Swings through that one for strike two. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to pitch down at the ball, right? They're swinging at that pitch. That's a no no. Just a slow ball this time to the shortstop at second but it pulls him off the base no kind of story of the season so far things just not mm -hmm. clicking into place fundamentals all sides of the ball are lacking and it's tough to win games at this level if you're not playing clean baseball as a team so base is loaded with one away and now for the Marlins Jesus Sanchez Line and that's a base hit. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. It's two nothing. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. First and second, one out. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Ramon Laureano. Foul ball. Arise on second. Sanchez at first. One gone. The next offering misses. And the count is one and one.
And oh, another ball. Man. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Schwarber right there to make the grab. Runner tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Up next for the And now the DH, Jorge Soler. His first at bat was a strikeout. And nope. takes low for ball one. That's a base hit as a run scores. That's about technical hit. It's got to by the road way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Christian Arroyo will hit next. He's over one. In for a strike. Oh, one one. Oh, one's the count. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That one, one not ball. close. It's a ball and two strikes. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. It's a good take. And the right hander deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. That one misses. Ball three. Number 73 waits on deck for Miami. Payoff pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gets it there in time, though, and they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Marlins three, and the Phillies nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now the veteran catcher, JT Real Muto. Real Muto. And he deals. And ball one. one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The wind of the pitch. This one popped up. That gets down for a hit. Didn't exactly square that number one up, but sometimes seven. you don't have to. Sure Just stops. a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really Burner. tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Trey Turner oh. now, and that's down it away. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. And here it comes. That's no. inside. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Hey. 
And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Move to first. Back in there standing. Marsh measures six feet four inches 215 pounds and he's been on a good run at the plate hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Runner. Real Muto runs. One ball. Throw Two, safe. Real Muto over at second one down. Bounce to the right. Arroyo. That's it out. The right fielder, number three. Right. Harper. Here's Bryce Harper. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Yeah. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Home run number five on the season, and they cut into the lead. It's 3-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay base is empty with two away Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, Schwarber, in his eighth season, batting in the cleanup spot, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. The 1 They say it went. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. But the Phils get two on this blast. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Start of the fourth the and at the plate for Miami. Number 73. Cesar Prieto. The wind and the pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Boom. Makes the grab one away. The catcher, number four. Nick Fortes. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. The walk and a run scored his first time. In there and it's 0-1. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. 
And a pitch. And this is inside. And now the count is even. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next one misses, and it's three and two. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Chisholm, batting with one down, takes a strike. Righty delivers. Aye. That one missed. 0 oh, 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. One, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Fortes, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Struck him out looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now it's the Marlins' leadoff hitter, Brian De La Cruz. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. The pitch. Whoa. And a good Inside. eye there. That to right. Harper ranging after it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Marlins leave one, but they still lead at 3 2. Ready to go. Bottom four. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. The wind of the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Lays out and makes the play. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets, pretty much a direct line to it. And perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but, man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. Stop. Takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. He popped out his first time. The pitch. Nope, that's down. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Loriano trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batting. First baseman. Derek Hall. And now the first baseman. Derek Hall. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Ah. 
That's in there. That's strike one. All ones the count. Ball That's one the ball. there. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the third baseman, Luis Arias. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Boom. Makes the catch. One away. Up next for the and up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Beautiful swing and it's not a bad opposite field knock. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Good eye right there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Ramon Up Laureano. Harlan, the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And downstairs. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In the dirt. Real Muto to first. And Laureano is retired. And that is the third out of the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins three and the Phillies two. And welcome back. John Shami with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Alec Bohm. The right-hander back to work. Just oh. missed. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Hit weakly on the ground. Chisholm. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Up next to Philadelphia, the catcher, JT. And now it is JT Real Muto. 
One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First oh, offering man. misses the mark. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Bounce to the left side. In time to Arroyo, and that quickly two away. The batter number seven. Shortstop. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner stands in for the Phillies. Singy, how about this? From 2019 through 2022, Trey Turner had a higher slugging percentage than Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Ronald Acuna. Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And the first oh, pitch misses for ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Back to first. And again, he's back safely. one -oh. Inside corner for a strike. Turner off of first with two away. Pickoff throw. Turner back easily. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Rips that one to right. He's got it. And that is that. Philly strand one. They trail it. 3-2. The the never... Top six. And now here's the Marlins DH, Jorge Soler. The designated hitter. Soler measures six Soler. feet four inches. 31 years old. And he was born in Cuba. Check swing, no appeal, and it's 1-0. Stirring in the Phillies' bullpen, Gregory Soto, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Bellotti, the right-hander, also getting loose. The pitch. Ball two. And there's a foul ball. Two one now. <laughs> On a line base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So. Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Aaron Nola's day comes to an end. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back.
Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Andrew Ballot. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And now for the Marlins, Christian Arroyo. In there at the knees. It's 0 1. Bellotti goes six foot one. He features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. Ground ball to the right side. Can't field it cleanly, and they tag him out. The Number 73, the next up for the Marlins. And there's the strike. Oh, and one. Now one and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Here's a one two. And that's a little high. Runner at second here one gone. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. Here's the 2-2. Way inside, gets out of the way. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And Whoa. ball four, two aboard. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. So first and second with one man gone. Digging in, Nick Fortes. In there for strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. left side and the infield fly is called and at the plate for Miami Jazz Chisholm Jr. up to the left into foul ground boom makes the grab and that'll end the inning so they strand a pair part of the order three four five coming up it's the marlins three and the phillies two do you think that's just a statement then you ludicrous like it's word of mouth i ain't new to what i'm about excuse me miss like what's your name Because I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I'm saying when I'm gonna make sure it's broke. When I'm going, I love the song. Cause I don't let nobody press up and mess up the scene. I said, I like to stand on the floor. <laughs> and a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes.
in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Swing and a miss. One ball, and the count two one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Next pitch two is ball. in the dirt. And that's ball two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Chris, when you think of Kyle Schwarber, how about the impact in the playoffs? He's hit some iconic home runs. The one on top of the Wrigley Field scoreboard in the division series against the Cardinals in 2015. And then in 2022, 488 feet off you Darvish. It's at a Petco Park record for distance. And the 0-2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Well, he's got what we call light tower power. And even when you have a guy like Bryce Harper on your team and you wow him with the home run, that says a whole lot. Next One offering ball. is downstairs. <laughs> got him. That's the second out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Castellanos up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Fouled off left side. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's outside. Yep, that out. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And in scoring position with two away. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. And that's in there for strike one. Castellanos stands at second with two gone. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia. They're down three to two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Gregory Soto. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Brian De La Cruz. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Soto, a former all-star. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike.
and the pitch. And a foul ball. And that one lifted in the air center field. March falls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now that the third base. Luis, Luis arrives. The next up for the Marlins. In there and it's 0-1. Comes a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Jesus Sanchez. Runner on at first with one gone. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. That one off the mark, ball one. One run game, one out, one on. Swings and misses. Strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Just some things, some things we show. So now it's the full now hole hitter, Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next offering upstairs. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses. And now 3-0. Jorge Soler next to hit for the Marlins. Here's a 3-0. And there's the strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering is fouled back. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. and he can't hang on still able to get it there in time and they get it out of the play one left for Miami but they're up three to two
back here at the ballpark. To the batter down, Derek Hall. base hits in the series for him so far and it's clearly been a rough one you just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things it makes the slump even longer never seemed to help never helped me movement in the bullpen Tanner Scott up and throwing number 78 getting loose as well the 1-0 that's in ball two Just off the outside edge. Alec Bohm up next. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Yuri Perez won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. A new pitcher in the game, Gregory Santos. Power slider guy, though. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. No outs. Runner at first. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. And that's in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Rudder at first with no outs here. That one in for a strike, two and two. ground to the left and that's just foul comes a 2-2 base hit into center field A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. JT Real Muto steps in. Ground ball left side could be two. Flips to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big time costly mistake there. Trey Turner at the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog. Not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. First offering misses the mark. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. On the ground right side. Tosses to first. Turner is out. Center fielder number 16. Brandon, Brandon Marsh now at the plate.
up the middle on the run sends it over to first and that'll keep more runs from coming in inning over one run one hit one error and one left we look ahead to inning number eight all tied up at three apiece so they turn to Craig Kimbrell and he's had three days off since he pitched last so expect him to be totally rested I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now number 31 and here is Jorge Soler. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And now the 1. There's the strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Matt Strom preparing to come on if needed. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Phillies fans want a strikeout. And there's a ball. Mm. Just misses there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next offering down low and in the dirt. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And the right hander deals. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. Making a move at first. Coming in as the pitch runner, John Birdie. Go ahead run on base. And up next for Miami, Christian Arroyo. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the Where rhythm and time. Birdie runs. They pitch out. Throw. Tag. Out. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Well, these guys are right on top of it. They guessed right on the first pitch pitch out. It tells me they had some good data or scouting report. Maybe it's just a feeling, but either way, perfect execution, great throw and tag, and they erase that runner at first. And the 1 0. Check swing, no appeal. Here's a two one. Good eye in that spot. Number seventy three waits on deck for Miami. Fouls one away and now three and two. Swing and a pop up. And that'll fall for a base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Substitution now at first base. On a pinch run, Garrett Hampson. Hampson. 
Gabriel throws over. Hampson back in on a dive. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. There's the strike. All one for count. Pitch out, but no action. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Marsh makes the grab on the run. Pitch hitter coming on, Reese McGuire. The runner on first with two gone for him. Reese McGuire. And ball one. The 1 0. Popped up. Turner should have it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Marlins leave one. Still tied, three and three. Staying in the game on defense, Yuli Gurriel. He entered as a pinch hitter, but this might get interesting. Not a position he's used to playing here. Also entering the game, Reese McGuire. He takes over behind the plate. So the Marlins go with a new arm, A.J. Puck. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Now so coming into the game now on defense, 40. Jake Berger. He takes Berger. over as the new first baseman. Here's Harper now. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And here it comes. My drive, that's a base hit. Here comes the throw. And safely with a leadoff double, go ahead runs in scoring position. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. So a change being made out at second. Entering is the pinch runner, Edmundo Sosa. Kyle Schwarber getting ready to hit. That one's in there on one. Man, it's second. Can't glove it cleanly. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. When you're playing out of position, the ball will find you. And that time does a nice job of fielding it. But the throw just oh, off the oh, mark. And you know he's uncomfortable with being in that spot. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Just missed. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. The pitch. Line drive. And it stays fair. One runs in around third. He's also in to score. And they lead by two. 
big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. It's always fun to see a double rip down the line. That one just barely stayed fair, so that was a good call by the umpire. He was all over it. Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. Good Whoa. eye right there. You know, these Phils showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say their chase rate, or swings at pitches outside the zone, is under 25%, and I think it's a big reason why they're scoring runs. And now two and nothing. No They're not friends. chasing out of the zone. They're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. The rise snags it on the run. Now batting. The first baseman. Derek Hall. So up next, Derek Hall. De La Cruz under it makes the catch and there's two down now batting yeah. the third baseman <laughs> Alec. La, 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 la. and now Alec Bohm Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. He gets the intentional walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, now, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Number 78 taking over on the mound. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. And first offering is fouled off. First and second, two down. And now maybe extra bases. Castellanos on his way to the plate. He'll score easily. And they take a three-run lead. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. Last chance coming up here for the Marlins. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jose Alvarado. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now into the game, Jake Cade. He takes over and right. So digging in, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And a pitch. And there's a strike. Alvarado, in his sixth season, he features a sinker, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a four-seamer. Here comes the 0-1. In the air to left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. And now here ball. is Brian De La Cruz. Chisholm aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air, right side. And it stays fair. 
Lead runner around second. Two consecutive base hits the for these guys game. here. Fastball off the plate a little mm -hmm. bit, but a really nice oh, yeah. job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Luis Arias, the next to hit. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And that's in for a strike. On one. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Ground ball right side, stop, toss the second. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killing. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here, so that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Two outs. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. And now the lefty. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days. You would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Ball. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus to the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Ramon Here's the cleanup Loriano. hitter for Miami, Ramon Laureano. That's, That's the off the mark. Ball one. The tying run at the plate. Oh. Off the mark there, and the count's even at two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in. And you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this claw. They've been playing really well. And these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Schaub.